I'm somewhere completely new to me. I've never been here before. So welcome to the Peak District. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel and today I'm at Stanage Edge doing some, hopefully, some landscape photography. Um, so this is the first time I've been to the Peak District. Uh, I know it's taken me years to get here, but uh, I'm finally here. It's uh, in the middle of the afternoon. It's, uh, well, it's about half past three. So I'm just having a look along, the, uh, along Stanage Edge for some locations to shoot uh, either later on today and uh, and maybe tomorrow morning as well. I'm here for uh, for a day and a half, so the rest of today I'm staying up here and I'm going to be here all day tomorrow as well. I've got another couple of locations in mind as well, so uh, I'm going to have a look for some locations and uh, see what I can find. All right, I think I found my first composition of the day. I've, uh, I've been looking around. I've found a few back up there uh, which are quite promising and I'll probably go and have a look at those in a minute. But for now, um, I've got the 70 to 200 lens on and uh, I'm quite interested in the S shape of, uh, of Stanage Edge. So from where I'm standing here, I've got, the, uh, got the, the curve, the S shape of Stanage Edge right in front of me. And I've, I'm zoomed in to about uh, 100 millimeters and I'm gonna try this one. So I particularly like where the, where the, uh, where the S of the curve of of the edge comes in uh, it's not quite the same picture here on video but uh, if i switch to video on the slr then uh, then i'll show you what i'm looking at so you can see here that the s shape of the curve that i'm looking for it goes from bottom right all the way catching all these different rocks here and then going around and off into the distance on that peak over there. And because it's sort of a cloudy day, I'm waiting for the sun to light up the ridge on the other side. So at the moment, it's just in a little bit of darkness. But if I can get a bit of dappled light over there, that would be great. I'm not too worried about this over here, but I'm looking for some dappled light over there in the distance. Uh, I'm not using any filters at the moment, but I'm thinking that I should get this in one shot because of the cloud. If not, I might use a, uh, a 0.3 or a 0.6 grad, uh, ND grad filter on just to uh, darken the sky a little bit. I quite like the image I'm getting. It's just gone a little bit dull now. So uh, I'm just taking five minutes out, just waiting for a bit more sunlight to uh, to light up the ridge in the distance. Um, looking at this picture, I think there's a little bit too much sky for my liking. So what I'll probably do is crop it into a, um, a 16 by nine. So um, just taking off the the top bit of the the sky possibly and turning it into a 16 by nine exposure, maybe something like that. Um, at the moment there's just a bit too much sky. Whether it's people walking their dogs, running or rock climbing, I really like how this photo captures how people enjoy the rocky landscape of Stanage Edge. Okay, so this is my next composition. It's uh, got quite an interesting foreground. It's a bit of a rock pool uh, just in front of me here, um, quite close up to the camera, probably about two and a half feet away, I reckon, something like that. So I'm using my 17 to 40 lens, right zoomed out at uh, 17 millimeters. 
and, uh, and I've got the polarizer on. So I've got to be a little bit careful because the sun's coming from over there and I don't want uh, glare on the, um, on the front of the glass of the, of the polarizer. So I'm using my hat just to shield the, the sun from the front element. Sorry about the noise. There's a gyrocopter flying over, I think. It's been floating around a little bit. Little Nelly for James Bond fans. Um, so, yeah, we've got quite a good bit of sun over here, just off, uh, off to the side, but it's a little bit dull over there. So I'm just waiting to see if there's any improvement on the, on the lighting again over there on the, on the far side of the ridge. Um, but this is the setup I've got at the moment. I'm, uh, I'm gonna have to focus stack this. I'm shooting F16, uh, but it's the, the depth of field is still not quite enough to get the, uh, the foreground in focus just here and way off into the distance. So, um, so that's what I'm doing. Um, just doing a couple of focus stacks and uh, waiting for the light to uh, hopefully hit the far hillside. Um, cloud keeps coming and going it's uh, it's a little bit unpredictable actually as soon as it kind of comes over this ridge it kind of changes formation so it's a bit difficult to predict what the cloud is going to do as it as it passes overhead so it's just a case of uh, patience and a bit of a waiting game but that's the fun of it so the sun's just coming across here now just hoping it's going to a bit further towards the ridge. It's looking good though. So again, focus stacking, just taking my second shot of the focus off into the distance. Play that back, what does that look like? This rock pool is looking a little bit too dark now, so I'm just going to change the polarizer. I think I quite like a little bit of reflection, just gives a bit of realism. Let's try that again. Yeah, that's looking good. The, uh, the first curve of the ridge is just picking up the light. The second curve, way off into the distance, is still a bit in darkness, but let's get that one captured. And changing the focus for the foreground again. Okay, one more for luck. I just need to shelter the front element. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I quite like that. Make sure the distance is in, sh in uh, focus. I think it is. Definitely a three dimensional shot, that's for sure. I'm just gonna do another couple. It just looks like that hillside over there going to the far distance of the ridge He's just picking up some sunlight now. So I'm just gonna do another couple of shots. Quite a nice diagonal of cloud in the uh, in the shot as well, so the sky is quite interesting. Yeah, I'm happy with that. If it's any good, here's the shot. Right, 
well, I'm back in location now for, for the first shot that I found. And this one is looking along this edge. And there's quite a good choice of uh, rock formations here. I'm getting completely swamped by, by flies and mozzies, midges. Um, and I think this is quite a good location. It's not very good for sunset because the sun sets further around the corner. So it's no good for that. So I think I'm just going to get a, get a quick picture here. Um, the relief on the terrain down below is quite good because of where the sun is. So that's that's a good uh, good thing about this picture. So I'll quickly get set up and see what we get. I'm going to try and get I'm shooting in two by three, but I never really shoot verticals in uh, in a full frame. So I usually kind of crop the crop the height of a vertical frame. So I'm going to try <laughs> getting completely infested here. Um, I'm going to try and uh, put this put the horizon on the two thirds line and then reduce that or recrop it later on on the computer but i'm kind of quite happy with what i've got here although down below here there is a car park uh, a row of cars on the road so i'm going to pr probably kind of crop that in a little bit um, so let's start by just rotating around slightly okay so if I shoot um, focus rather a third into the frame, uh, which is just down here, there's a rock down here. Uh, I'm going to focus on that and looking at my focus peaking, the horizon is, is in focus and so is the tip of this rock just down here. So that's good enough for me, I think. If I just bring it slightly closer, what does that give me? Yeah, we'll stick with that. Okay, so F16, a 60th of a second. I'm just gonna shield the front of the lens. I've got a lens hood, so just make sure the sun's not giving me any glare. And what does that give me? Slightly blown out on the highlights. So I might just put an ND grad on. I didn't think the Peak District would be this bad for midges. Seriously, wow. <sighs> I wasn't expecting that. Wrong one, filters. Right, I'll probably go for a 0.6. So what have I got here? 0.6 grad. I'll probably do a hard edge. Looking at the horizon. Filter slot closest to the lens. Okay, what do we get here? So, let's bring that down. Let's have a look at that. Oh God, these midges. <laughs> I 
That looks good. Got a good bit of lighting on the fields down there. That's brilliant. Let's uh, just play around with the exposure slightly. Oh. Do that again, I wasn't paying attention. Let's just shield the front of the lens from the sun. It's a good thing with a wide brimmed cap, uh, wide brimmed hat, you can uh, use it to shield the sun, which is really good. Right, I'm happy with that. I think that looks pretty good. Got some good texture in the sky, some nice lines going across, uh, some good textures down here, some good relief with the light and the shade. And then we've got some good lighting in the fields down here. So, yep, I'm happy with that. And I'm going to get out of here before I get eaten. So I'm still on Stanage Edge. Um, I've moved a little bit further north to, to where I was earlier. Um, and I'm uh, here for sunset. Now it's, uh, sunset is supposed to be about 26 minutes past seven, which is in just under half an hour's time. And in the meantime, I've been walking around trying to find a composition and I've come up with this. So let me talk you through what I've got here. So this is where I've got the camera. Uh, I've gone for a vertical composition and I'm hoping that uh, that the sunset over here will uh, light up the ridge um, in golden light um, along there and uh, pick out some uh, highlights and shadows in the kind of foreground area around here. But in the immediate foreground, there's this, this crack just down here. So potentially I might get a bit of golden light there and uh, just picking up that stone that's balancing between the between the crack. Um, so that's what I'm waiting for. I've uh, made my composition. I've set the camera up the way I, I think I want to shoot. Uh, I'm shooting in manual. I usually shoot in manual around sunset because it's easier to control the exposure. And uh, with any luck, we might get the the sun lighting up some of this cloud. So if it dips below the the cloud over there on the horizon, we might be in luck. But failing that, we've got some good blues and gold colors in the sky anyway. So fingers crossed, we'll get something. Well, that's almost it I think. I'm just gonna carry on, make sure I don't miss anything. Uh, the sun is literally just dipping down below the hillside over there. Um, I'm just gonna carry on for another 10 minutes or so just to make sure I don't miss any of the sky lighting up, um, any of the cloud picking up, any pink hues as the sun dips below the horizon. And, uh, and then I'll call it a day. So I'll pick out the best shot and I'll leave it with you. Here it is.
So I think that's just about it from me for today. I think I've had a fairly successful day on Stanage Edge. First time I've been here, but the good news is that I'm here again tomorrow or somewhere else in the Peak District. So if you've liked this video, please like and subscribe and join me on the next video where we'll be exploring something else somewhere else here in the Peak District. Take care. See you then. Bye for now.